Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the Slam Dunk Challenge in the Source Patient Zero campaign. My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and obviously have you just seen there, that's the final end product of what you were uh, finally going to have, what's going to happen at the end. So for the setup for this video, uh, what you need to bring is your remote CX demo block and your disposable scrambler and your ICA silver baller. If you don't have the remote uh, CX block, try and use the proximity then you can go ahead and shoot it. Alternatively, you can use any of the remote explosive, but you need a, a few more uh, fire extinguishers at the end. So, from the very start, you need to head straight upstairs because we need to go and grab a uh, disguise for us. And uh, the perfect disguise is going to be just next door to 47 Suite. So, you just want to head upstairs and use your disposable scrambler as quickly as you can in the room next door to uh, 47. So, just in here is going to be a uh, cult disguise. And this is going to allow us to bypass uh, a few trespassing areas so we can get upstairs and uh, do a little bit of a sweep a little bit of a spring clean so this this is another challenge that Bangkok has I mean in the original map you have the tuppence a wish challenge which is it's, it's quite difficult to replicate overall which is going to be it's, it's another one of those sort of challenges Unfortunately, uh, you need a little bit of luck involved in it, but I'm going to try and uh, show you the best way possible to do it. So first of all, when you come upstairs here, you're going to crouch behind this little bit here and shoot this guard in the head. Shoot that guard in the head, that guard in the head, and that guard in the head. Now just before we go any further, I really want to quickly address what I've just did there and how fast I took out those headshots. Now if you're wondering how fast I took it out, you need to activate fast target in your options menu in your controller settings and you need to activate aim assist as well. So you want to roughly aim in the direction of their head and as soon as you aim, as strong as I'm talking about, straight away, as soon as you aim, shoot the gun. Aim, shoot the gun. Aim, shoot the gun. That's how you snap onto the targets really quickly to get these headshots. So that's basically how I'm doing it through this video. And it's very, very important that you know how to do that in order to quickly take out a lot of the people that are going to be in the next area. And this is the reason why I'm telling you now, because these, these, are, these are the features that I'm going to be using a lot during this walkthrough. And I just wanted to make that clear. So for the next part, uh, we're going to use that same feature again. Like I said, aim roughly in that direction. It will automatically snap onto their head and uh, we can just uh, shoot them in the head. What we're going to do now is just clean up the bodies, remove them from the area. We don't want these bodies being discovered. Make sure you pick up their weapons on the floor as well because we don't want them discovered either. I mean for this mission, let's just say you're not going to get Silent Assassin for it, but make sure you put on his uh, guards disguise there. That's going to come in handy in a little while. Again, we're just going to drag these bodies into a closed area so we can get them out of the way. So yeah, the fast target feature is very, very good. They've, they've recently, uh, in the latest patch, they've buffed it and made it more easier to do as well. So uh, previously, it used to uh, not properly snap onto their head. It used to snap above, and it used to be kind of, kind of annoying. But now they've made it very, very good and very uh, easy to use. So what we're actually doing at this point here, we're just waiting for this cult uh, woman to come up the stairs. We're actually going to take her out as well, because she is going to get in the way. So we may as well take her out now. There is a little bit of waiting involved as well, because we're going to need to wait for the two targets to come up the stairs. So in the meantime, we're going to set everything up. So again, we use the fast target there to take her out and dump her in the, the room with the guards. So the overall aim for this, we need to make sure we explode the target and make sure she lands in t on top of the canopy. And uh, it's going to take some work doing it. So again, once we come into this area here, we're using the fast target to our advantage, shooting each one of these cultists in the head oh and taking them all out nice and quickly and nice and simple. It's almost like point shooting back in Absolution, except it's just a little bit slower. So what you need to do to do is grab all the fire extinguishers you can find in the area and place them in the order that I'm placing them now, side by side. There should be three in this area that you're in now. We just brought one in, so that's four. There's also going to be a couple on the outside as well. We're actually overall going to use six. And we're just going to line them up side by side, like I said. The more the merrier. The more power, the more better. We're also going to pull out your demo block and try and place it underneath the fire extinguishers right there. 
once it goes green, place it there. Because that's going to give us an extra boost in power as well. So we're just going to fetch another fire extinguisher now. So this is our fifth. Again, just place that next to the fire extinguisher there. Here's the sixth one. There's also a seventh on the right if you want to go grab that as well. I didn't use that. I only used six for this one. But at this point, I recommend you make a save just in case things go wrong. I mean, you've come this far and you've gotten so far, you know, so, so far, and you've taken out a lot of people, you've done all the hard work. Uh, the next part, well, I say is the easy part, but this is, should be the uh, easiest bit. Now we've taken out everyone out. So now you've made a quick save there. We're just going to wait for the targets to come up the stairs now. They've had their little meeting downstairs and they momentarily will come up the stairs. So I'll skip to that point. So two targets have come upstairs with two guards. Now, you need to kill everyone here except for the female target. You need to shoot her in the leg and knock her out as fast as you can. Again, that's where the save comes in handy if you case you mess this up. So we're going to use the fast target system there again. Take each one of them out. That's all three. We've got the woman finally. We're just going to shoot her in the leg to uh, make her fall down. And then we're going to quickly go up to her and knock her out. Once you've knocked her out, we're just going to drag her body into the center area where the fire extinguishers are all set up for us with the uh, the demo block. And this is the point where I recommend you make another save just in case. This is going to take a lot of, uh, you know, fiddling around because the the drag system is kind of, it's kind of rubbish to be honest. So I recommend you make a save here just in case you mess this up. So just anyone will do, just stick that one there. So once you've come back in the game, we're just going to drag the body on top of the uh, fire extinguishers. You need to place her in a specific way. Um, you need to make sure a whole body, the lengthways, is going right across the fire extinguishers. It's kind of hard to explain, so it's best to just, uh, just watch what I'm doing. And like I said, I have a little bit of a struggle myself to try and get this right. You don't want to have a leg uh, covering most of the fire extinguishers because she's just not going to breach the canopy. And you can't have her at the side other, otherwise she's not going to launch in the air. So you need to make sure she is on top, her body covering most of the fire extinguishers in order for this to work. Like I said, it can take a little bit of fiddling around. That's why I'm, sh that's why I'm keeping this video in, just to show I'm not just putting out a perfect video and showing you it's just very easy, because it's not exactly easy or simple. Now some people will say that uh, once you, once this tire comes into this area, she stands in front of th in front in front of three fire extinguishers and you just shoot it and she goes up up. That is completely random. You can try that if you want to, but I found this way to be a lot more consistent than anything else. Like I said, I'm, it looks like I'm struggling quite a lot now, but it's, it is, there's, 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 ma there's method to the madness. But once we launch the, uh, the demo block there, she will fly on top of the canopy and that's when you will get the challenge unlocked. Obviously it didn't pop for me because I've already shown it at the beginning start of the video. This is me redoing the video. And this is me uh, taking out a few people at the end there. So hopefully this has helped you out. Stay tuned for our final uh, outtake at the end of the video. And uh, subscribe here if you wanted to the channel. And please drop a like on the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Check this out. Cheers.